Hello, World of Tank Blitzers. It's a little finger, and I've got a did I win or did I lose battle here. This is Fire Fryer in the T92. He won, as you can see, top tier Mayan Ruin Supremacy Battle. Um, and you know the story with these games. We like to showcase the, uh, the super close games. Um, they could be wins, they could be losses, and uh, we'll pause it mostly way through the game unless you decide if you think it's going to be a win or a loss. Um, but either way, it's going to be a good game, and uh, that's what we're focusing on on this series is those those really close games. Get tired of the lopsided victories here lately or the lopsided losses just from some really, really weak teams. But T92 is uh, obviously known for its big gun. Uh, it does have a, a good bit of dispersion there, so uh, interesting play style for sure. And, uh, see, can we get a shot into the Chimera? No, he just rocks forward a little bit right as the shot's released. That Leopard has been taken out already. Chimera and uh, the Emil going down the hill. And uh, this is an interesting play here to use this tank's speed. Uh, kind of as a diversion tactic, giving that Chimera a big old pop as he drives by and uh, getting into cover and into safe space, distracting this guy, pulling him away from the fight. Meanwhile, he's reloaded and uh, yeah, he's going to have the backside of this Emil to shoot. Emil takes two shots from the rear and of course that's going to distract him. He's going to be turning around here. And uh, that allows his team just to come on in and take him out. So um, one of the things I do really enjoy with light tank playstyle is this ability to use uh, your speed to get around the map and, and just be a nuisance, really. There we see that dispersion at work. That was a nicely aimed shot, and it just went totally off to the right. We're still down a tank, though, despite all of this. Chimera is going really fast backwards. Big old VK gives him a nice big juicy target on the side. And that's going to put him over to 1,000 damage. Alright, who's going to be the next target here? We got a couple kill shots. Here goes the AMX. Uh... The defender, though, he's going to go down here. He's surrounded by tanks, as is the Waffen Trailer. Can he get the AMX out in time? Is he going to reload? He's going to get behind the rock. It is one on four, guys, and look at that. He botched that shot. So, uh, we see the situation. It is one on four. He's got 1,200 hit points left. We got a few one-shot tanks. Um, but we also got a pretty heavy, uh, healthy VK. So go down, type in a comment, win or loss. Takes another one. He's down to 900. Takes another one. He's down to 400. There is absolutely no way he gets out of this. He bounces the VK, bounces the charioteer, and he has taken a lot of damage. Over 800 damage there. I think that must have been the Chimera that shot and missed. The VK shoots and misses. And he comes around. Gets the Chimera. Continues to use his speed here. Doesn't stop. Keeps moving. The VK has gone down low. This is giving him an opportunity to, uh, to reload. Uh, and uh, But it's also giving that prototype time to come on in here and get a shot on him but he manages to kill him he's up over 3k damage just stay alive yeah that is the key here with cat points and the vk uh, how does he get out of this and uh and stay alive not spotted which way is the vk gonna go is the vk gonna come through the middle here just to his left or is the VK going to try to come all the way around the back I think he's probably wondering the same thing is the VK going to be right there if I pull forward because that's the way I would have gone if I were the VK driver um, either that or to see 
Uh, but that is the downside of being in a light tank. Where is the VK going to come from? There he is from behind, uh, putting himself in the rock. He did get spotted. The rock is a safe place here. Can he get away? Look at that shot go right over the top of the turret. That was a brave move um, and a very lucky move at that. But yeah, he's going to run out on the clock here and uh, take the one versus four victory. Uh, yeah, that was so close. Um, but that's the way you got to be sometimes. You got to get a little lucky. Rather be lucky than good, right? There's that Klobinoff. Yeah, nice battle here. Nice carry. Nice, fun, close. Did I win or did I lose battle sent in by Fire Friar? All right, guys, you know the drill. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, send in your videos on Discord. Also, get educated, not fingered. Little finger out.